welcome to this mama's house today i'm sharing with you a complete laundry makeover if you are new here my name is tabitha i share all about homemaking on this channel and i would love to have you subscribe today i'm sharing with you my laundry makeover and i'm going to take you through the entire process of painting hanging wallpaper hanging shelves and sharing the decor with you as well as some amazing DIY projects that I had so much fun creating. Today's video is sponsored by Cricut. I am so excited to share with you my new Explore Air 2 and my Easy Press that helped me to make these awesome DIYs that just completed my laundry room. I'm gonna admit I was a little bit intimidated to work with this Cricut at first, but I simply watched a YouTube tutorial and I got to work and it was so easy. They have an amazing design studio app and it just makes creating anything so incredibly easy that anyone can do it. So with a Cricut machine, the possibilities are endless. There are over a hundred different types of materials that you can use. The DIYs were definitely my favorite part of this project. But before we can get into the fun stuff, we have to put in the work. And that started with completely emptying out everything from my laundry room. This is actually a laundry closet, so it's a definitely a small space to work with, but I had some ideas to kind of use the space a lot better, and it turned out so good. Make sure you guys stay to the very end because I'm gonna be sharing with you the amazing before and afters of this makeover. And just so you know, this is part of a new series on my channel called This Mama's Makeovers. So the last project I worked on was my small pantry. Today is the laundry room makeover and I have a lot more projects coming up so stay tuned for those. So this shelf gave me so much trouble. I literally tried to take this shelf down for at least 45 minutes. I used a screwdriver, I got the drill out, I tried everything. So finally my husband came home and he was even having trouble with it too. And then we realized that it was actually nails in the walls with, with screw heads, which was really odd, but we just ripped them out. And once we figured that out, it came down really quick. So with the washer and dryer out of the closet, you can see a lot of things had fallen underneath over the past year and a half since we moved in, but I was going to scrape those holes, sand them, and also patch them up. Once the patching was done, I was ready to paint. So I chose a really dark charcoal color in flat finish and I started to paint. So I definitely took my time and I didn't use any sort of tape. So I have to be really careful around the edges, but I've painted so many walls before that I have a lot of experience with this and I definitely feel confident painting without painter's tape.
So it makes it look like it goes a lot faster when I speed it up with YouTube magic and I can just edit this video in 20 exit. But I wanted to show you kind of how it really looks in real life. So it is a slow process, especially around the edges, but I completed all of the painting in one evening. So I started after dinner time around six o'clock and I was able to get it all done before going to bed. So yeah, all in all, this project took me a weekend to do, so not bad at all. Starting in the evening on Friday, I did the painting, and then on Saturday, I hung the wallpaper and the shelves, and then on Sunday, I did my finishing touches on decor and my fun DIY projects. As a large family, if you're new, we have five kids. We can't let the laundry room be out of use for very long. We definitely needed to get this project done quickly so that we could get back to washing our clothes. We usually wash laundry every single day, so taking three days off can be a problem in our house. Whenever paint comes out, the kids want to chip in, so I let my little three-year-old help me, which was also a bit terrifying using this dark color paint, but he had so much fun. So next up is time to hang the wallpaper and I got this at Lowe's. I will link everything that I can down in the description box. You'll also need a straight edge or level and a pencil to mark on the wall. So the first step, I wanted to mark a line on the wall to use as a guide. Now this wallpaper situation is just a small space but it was a little bit challenging, I'm not gonna lie. I thought it would go on a lot easier than it did. Once I got a hang of it though, it did go on pretty fast. This was late at night when I'm actually starting the wallpaper. So I only got one strip done. It was maybe like 11, 30, 12 o'clock at night. Um, so I just worked with one piece and then I decided to save the rest for the next day. But you can see that I'm struggling at first to get this on the wall. And I could have edited this out and just placed it on the wall and you could have seen the video and it went on so smoothly and so beautifully. But I wanted to be real with you guys and just share in case you decide to do wallpaper in your house, you'll know what you're up against. Once the first piece was on though, it did go on a little bit better. I'm out of reasons, I'm out of rhyme But I'll only tell you that I'm out of time I'm sick of love songs, I'm tired of this And I wanna tell you straight just like it is You're watching me like you want me But you're still holding back, still holding back Honestly You're fearless Steal all the gold you can get, you can get Show me your love and leave me breathless, breathless trim was a little bit challenging but just taking my time and using a straight edge razor made it a lot easier show me your love like it is like it is bend open my heart like 
but you're fearless Steal all the gold you can get, you can get Show me your love and leave me breathless, breathless Now that the wallpaper is all hung, it was time to hang the shelves and I definitely needed my husband's help again with this. So I built one of these shelves and hung them up when it was already built and then we decided for the second shelf maybe we would assemble it as we go. Both ways proved to be challenging in their own ways but I don't know what we would do if we did it again. I think we would probably build the shelf before hanging it on the wall. but. Either way, they both went up really nicely and I'm so glad I had his help because this is not my forte. We used anchors and screws because we were hanging these in drywall and I love the way that these shelves turned out. I got them on Amazon and I will link them in the description box. Now that the shelves are all up, I'm going to show you my decor. Here is the decor items that I have to put in the laundry room. So it's a combination of things that I already had, things that I bought second hand, and things that I bought new. So first of all, I have this little laundry container. It came with a scoop. I got this from Aldi just a couple months ago. Um, this little jar with clothespins in it, I've actually had this for like five years. So I'm just going to be putting that on the shelves. Then I got this um, glass container just to put my wool dryer balls. I seem to be missing some. The kids like to play with these. So I'm going to have to probably get some more. I don't know. I'm probably actually just fine with three. I just think it would look better if it was filled up, but not really that important. Then I got this really pretty glass um, jar with a spigot to put some laundry soap in. And then I got these two really long um, fake greenery. I think these will look really pretty on the shelf just like hanging down. I got this pretty lantern with a uh, LED candle inside. I got this pretty bird. Birds are my favorite animal, so I thought this would be cute. And it's kind of got that like, um, I don't know, it was like iron, cast iron type feel with the brown. I don't know, I like it. That's kind of what I'm going for. I also got this K new. It does have a uh, switch so you can put batteries in it and light it up um this life is good sign i had i've had this for uh, i don't know probably six or seven years now and i haven't used it in this new house you okay joey i haven't used it in this new house yet so i think it's gonna look cute on the shelves um this really pretty tray i'm probably gonna set on top of the washer um, but I love it. It's like definitely got the farmhouse look. I might stain the wood to be a little bit darker to kind of like more match that. I like the darker wood. You can see my table is dark. Um, but I really like the galvanized metal. Um, I kind of like the industrial farmhouse look. And then these two items I got to do some DIYs that I'll be sharing with you. So I got some flower sack towels that I'm going to be doing something with and then also this chalkboard. And again, I think I might stain the edge of this to be darker. Um, but I'm really excited to put the decor up on the shelves. Is it?
Decorating the shelves, it was a lot of trial and error. I just kind of would place something and then step back to look at it. I definitely wanted the lower shelves to be more functional, to store my cleaning supplies and laundry supplies. And then the upper two shelves I thought could be just for any of the decor pieces that I had. I had so much fun at decorating the shelves and using these pieces that I really love. So I think it turned out really good. The basket at the top of the shelf is actually where we put like random socks that don't have a match that we might find. Um, so that's what's up there and then like I said, just the lower shelves are more functional and then the other shelves I saved for the decor. So I just tried out a lot of different things and, and just kind of rearranged. You'll see the final way I styled the shelves at the end of the video, but it turned out really, really good. the next day and the final day of this project and I had a really pretty hook that I got at the store at home and I wanted to hang my aprons here in the laundry room. It is time to finally share my awesome DIY projects that I am so proud of using my Cricut Explore Air 2. So the first project that I wanted to do was use that chalkboard to make a laundry room sign. And I've had this idea for a long time and I saw that you could purchase them online with this specific quote that I'm going to use. but. It just didn't look the way that I really wanted it. So having this opportunity to just make it myself is so exciting. This Cricut Explore Air 2 is amazing. It's got different storage areas to store all of your supplies and tools that you're gonna use. Like I said earlier, you can cut over 100 different types of materials using this machine. The possibilities are seriously endless. There's so many tutorials on YouTube and with the Cricut design space, you can just make whatever you want so easily. This was intimidating to me at first, but I got a hang of it really fast and I can't wait to make so many different projects. I can see myself making gifts for Christmas or birthdays, decorations for my home or birthday parties. I just feel like I'm gonna be using this thing all the time. So like I said, the first thing that I wanted to make was a laundry room sign and I decided to go with a Bible verse and I think this sign turned out so, so cute. One of the cool things about this Cricut is that it actually has a fast mode, so it can cut your projects super, super quick, just allowing you to create even more amazing projects. I 
I used permanent vinyl to make this chalkboard and using the transfer tape from Cricut just makes it like a big sticker. It's so easy to use. You just place it where you want it, use their tool to make sure that it's adhered to your board and then peel off the transfer tape and you're good to go. It's literally as simple as that. Love the way that my sign turned out and next up I wanted to make some labels for the washer and dryer I just thought that this would look cute so I started off by making the dry label for the dryer and I used white vinyl for that just because the door on my dryer is black and then I did wash in black because the front of my washer is white you'll see how it looks but it turned out really really good so I just typed that into design space and got it all ready to make it the instructions are right on the screen so it's so easy you just follow along with what it tells you to do and it's pretty much foolproof This part of peeling the extra vinyl off is called weeding, I learned. And that's probably my favorite part. It's just so fun to see your project starting to come together. Now I prepped the surface using rubbing alcohol just to make sure that it was really, really clean. I used a piece of paper to measure exactly where I wanted it. And then you just stick it on, scrape it, and make sure it's adhered, and then peel off the transfer tape and you're good to go. So I think these labels turned out so cute and the kids got a kick out of it too. They no longer have to ask me which one's the washer. The next project that I was going to make was going to be using my Easy Press 2. So now this is for any type of iron on vinyl. So I am going to be making some tea towels to hang on the new bar in the laundry room. So what I wanted to do was like a floral pattern and also a bee and it turned out really, really cute. When you are using the iron on vinyl, you want to make sure to mirror your project if you're using like any words or anything for sure for this one it wasn't as big of a deal because it's just a flower pattern and it doesn't matter if it's backwards it will still look pretty similar but just keep that in mind if you are going to make any iron on 
shirts or towels like me or anything iron on. You can even use this on wood, which is amazing and so cool. This easy press makes this project go so much faster and easier than just using a regular iron. And it heats up to all sorts of different temperatures. It's got a different timer on there depending on what type of material you're working with. So it just makes it so much simpler. And I used the Cricut mat too, just to make sure to protect my table and my project. So here's how the towels turned out. I love them. Now it is time to share with you the before and afters of this laundry room makeover. It is incredible the difference and now I have a lot more joy doing laundry, I have to admit. So I hope you guys enjoyed seeing my laundry room makeover. If you did, give this video a thumbs up, subscribe so you don't miss my next makeover project or any of my upcoming homemaking videos. Thanks so much for being here. Here and watching today's video. We will see you in the next one. Bye!